university is us. planet is amazing. Its lands and oceans are home to a fantastic array of life. We call this biodiversity, and it plays an essential role in our lives and our future. Our well-being is dependent on our planet having a rich variety of life. Together, we make life possible. Biodiversity is us. Thriving biodiversity relies on the many relationships that exist between all living things. These relationships help create the essential conditions for life. Clean air, fresh water, and food. The environment also provides us with the resources we use for energy, shelter, and medicines. Clean air and water require a healthy environmental balance. The food chain also depends on biodiversity. While plants make their own food using sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide in a process called photosynthesis, animals and humans need to eat food. But should any food supply become scarce or die out completely, this can have serious consequences on other species too. The food chain shows how each living thing gets its food. It describes who eats what or whom. Typically in the food chain, bigger creatures eat smaller ones. This is part of the natural cycle of life. In our oceans, the blue heart of our planet, small fish eat tiny invisible organisms called plankton. These fish are then food for larger fish that in turn provide a tasty snack for even larger predators. On land, there is an enormous variety of food chains. Bees are part of a particularly interesting chain. Bees feed from the nectar of flowering plants. They use this nectar to produce honey. 
In the process of flying from one plant to another, bees and other insects pollinate flowers, allowing them to reproduce. This results in a wide range of grains, fruits, and vegetables that are an essential part of our diet and the diets of many other animals. Did you know that bees pollinate around 70% of the crops eaten by people around the world? This makes them very important for our own food production. Bees are also food for larger insects and other animals, such as spiders, frogs, and birds. At the other end of the food chain, in a process called decomposition, bacteria and fungi break down any plants or animals that die. This important process allows their nutrients to be released, enriching the water or land in which they once lived. This is nature's way of recycling. Nothing is wasted. The availability of enough food, water, and resources for every creature to live and grow depends on the health of the surrounding environment, making biodiversity essential for life. Zoos and aquariums around the world are playing an important role in conserving biodiversity. With many species facing extinction, zoos and aquariums are helping prevent their disappearance through international breeding programs. These programs are vital to wildlife conservation as they help maintain a genetically healthy and diverse range of species. One in seven threatened species can be found in a zoo or aquarium, and several animals, now extinct in the wild, live on in human care. There are also hundreds of conservation projects carried out by zoos and aquariums around the world right now, including reintroductions. For example, Perswalski's horse, the last species of wild horse, had become extinct in its native environment but thanks to a zoo conservation project, the species was reintroduced to its home in Central Asia, a process that continues today, ensuring that this species continues to thrive in its wild habitat. Every year, zoos and aquariums attract 700 million visitors, Their living exhibits are fun and exciting and allow visitors of all ages, just like you, to discover and experience our planet's amazing wildlife firsthand. But more importantly, zoos and aquariums are centers for education and research, as well as showing people how they can care for our planet and become part of the solution to promote biodiversity. But today, biodiversity is shrinking. Due to the actions of humans, the environment is changing too fast for many species to adapt, and the natural resources and habitats that sustain life are disappearing fast. This does not only affect other species, it affects you too. 
Our expanding use of resources is leaving an even larger footprint on the environment. While you need water, energy, and other resources to survive, it is important not to use too much of any one thing. Otherwise, nature cannot replace them for future generations. There is a lot you can do to reduce your footprint, protect biodiversity, and restore the balance of nature. And little things can make a big difference. You can promote biodiversity in your everyday life. You can discover the plants and animals around you, how they enhance your life, and how you can enhance theirs. You can reduce your waste by being responsible and reducing, reusing, and recycling your waste you can help preserve natural resources and lower pollution in a number of ways. You can use less water. There are lots of ways to reduce the amount of water you use. And as each small action adds up to save large amounts of water every month, just imagine how much could be saved if we all used a little less water. You can use less energy. Using a little less energy every day will reduce your footprint and help preserve the natural environment for future generations. You can adapt your shopping habits. The way some food and products are made are bad for the environment. So the way you shop can support positive change. Look out for labels that show your goods have been made with respect to people, animals, and the planet. You can learn more about biodiversity and the many other ways you can help protect it in our free Biodiversity Is Us app for your tablet or smartphone. Download it now. Just imagine if each of the 700 million visitors to zoos and aquariums made even one small change to support biodiversity. What change will you make? Biodiversity is us. We can all make a difference.